As a Southern Italian, the concept of time is very wide and I would say different. In Southern Italy we define time simply as an agreement. When we give an appointment, it's not sharp 3 o'clock, for example. It's around 3. That means from 2.30 to 3.30, no stress and so on. But the most important thing that I would like to share is that in Southern Italy we don't measure time with minutes or hours or days, seasons and so on. The main way to measure time is emotions. So, for example, how many emotions can you feel in, in, in one hour? And that's the main difference. So we don't measure life in terms of length, but in terms of enlargement. So how large is our life? So how many emotions we can put in one minute? Not how long can we live. We take time quite seriously, trying hard to meet deadlines, which makes us feel stressed sometimes. Uh, we are rather punctual, but in the end it depends on personality. When it comes to hierarchy, uh, always uh, all the bosses or their bosses' bosses are uh, always trying to get a consensus, because it's consensus. But when it comes to the decision, I think the action is really quick. Always the senior manager is the person who is making the final decision, which makes the work environment in Tunisia is focused on bureaucracy. We are really good at maybe diving into the details to come up with the better solutions. Tunisian way of communication is indirect. So the most of the message comes in the non-verbal gesture when you are giving a feedback for a Tunisian person to do it in private and with indirect message because we tend to avoid confrontation and arguments. Always keep our face in front of other people. I would say a directness, openness, honesty, and at the same time as well professionalism. First is to find similarities, and the second is to find acceptance. Being open-minded. You can uh, literally say everything, discuss everything, and no topic is uh, off the table. Sumimasen, which means I'm afraid, or I'm sorry, or excuse me. So when you talk to boss, for example, you need to say sumimasen first. Pasta or pizza, for example. No dobra, which is informal uh, all right. I would say coffee. Actually coffee, but still as well. Still means table in Polish and uh, a chair in the Netherlands. Inshallah, which means if God will allow. The most surprising thing is uh, the personal distance. Kindness and openness of people. When I have been invited for a wedding and the people were asking me to confirm my presence, this is really strange for me. In Tunisia, everyone is coming, even people that you never invited and you never met in your life. Everybody was saying thank you after finishing dinner. People are really friendly and they are really hard worker. Uh, they always stick to the rules. We like to celebrate life. First of all, you should not forget to drive politely. And at the same time, don't forget to say hello to the people who you meet on the streets, if you know them or even if you do not know them. Warm clothes for winter. Japanese has a culture that they don't want to stand out from the crowds. They have the sense of feeling or sense of belongings in that group. Sunglasses, empty belly. Amsterdam. 